Well, welcome to the step-by-step ebook formatting kit tutorial from Unruly Guys. This is your final step, and this is the one where you're going to validate your ebook according to EPUB check standards. In the book, it'll actually probably say step 14 now, um, you're going to look for EPUB check validation. You'll be going to International Digital Publishing Forum, which is validator.idpf.org, and you'll be putting in your EPUB to make sure that it validates. So when you go to the site, which is right here, you will have a field you can put in and a browse button and then you click validate. So you browse for your book. So you search for your book and you find it here and then you just click open and then you click validate and depending on the file size it might take a while. When it's done, it says the results, congratulations, no problems were found in mybook.epub. Now, if you did have errors, it should list them here. And if you cannot figure out your errors, simply just copy and paste them in an email, and I'll help you decipher them. So now that you know that your book is valid, what we want to do now is we want to take the EPUB, and we want to proof it in the Kindle, but we want to make it into a Mobi because in the Kindle Previewer, which is for the apps for the iPhone, the iPad, and all the Kindle devices, Mobi is best. Now it will convert using the Kindle Previewer right into a Mobi. The only problem with that is when it converts it, it turns it into a Mobi, but it also saves, saves an entire file of the EPUB. So if your EPUB is a megabyte, then your Mobi file is going to be twice that size. So you open up, open up your Kindle Previewer, and this will have all the different devices that you can use, like I said. Here it shows the devices of Fire, Kindle, DX, iPhone, iPad, and then Custom. Now these are all Kindle. Even though it says iPhone and iPad, those are not the iPad actual viewers. Those are for Kindle. So now what we want to do is open our book. Now to view, to view an EPUB in the Kindle Previewer, it's really very simple. You take your EPUB file, whoops, and you simply just drag it over the top of the open screen. And you can see that it actually compiles the book and it makes it here in a folder. You can actually click here if you don't know where the folder is, or it'll be right here and it'll be one long name in Moby. So you go OK. And then what this will do is it will show you, it will start on the page it's supposed to. There's your bold, your italic, and your underline. This is your jump feature, which allows you to jump to the next section. Now this should jump right to chapter one, 2, which it does. And see there's enough space. Jumps to chapter 3, and everything is on its own page. And then the acknowledgments and the about the author. This shows you the cover. This shows you your table of contents, the linkable one, and this is the logical one, which is the one that allows this jump feature. So we're going to go back to chapter one, and if you look on any other device, it will look a little bit different. So you want to proof your file before you publish it. And the best thing to do is once you publish it, buy your own book. So this has been Unruly Guides. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for listening.